Hello, and welcome to this MindFusion WPF charting tutorial. Here we demonstrate the ability of the control to support unlimited number of X, X2, Y, and Y2 axes. We start with a line chart, who has four differently colored series and a single axis of all types, X, X2, Y, and Y2. Let's look at the basic properties of an axis, which in this sample are exposed in a dialog. We start by changing the min value, and you see how the start of the axis changes and the cross point shifts. The max value is adjustable as well, so is the count of intervals. It determines how many intervals an axis has. The cross value indicates where an axis crosses the other. You can set it to whatever value suits you. Now let's add another axis. In this sample, we do it simply by pressing a button. Each axis is a separate object and is customized independently of the other axes. As you can see, we choose the axis which will be affected when we interact with the slider controls. Each chart series is bound to a pair of X or X2 and Y or Y2 axes of your choice. In the sample we can change the axes for each series, and you can see in real time how the chain affects the point coordinates. Let's play with the yellow axis as well. We can add as many axes of each type as we want. one is customized on its own. Now let's do something different. Let's customize an axis and code. We will edit the sample. Each axis that is rendered has been added to the X axis, Y axis, X2 axis, or Y2 axis properties. Let's modify the X axis. We change the label type property to custom text because we want to set some strings as labels. The labels are set with a labels property. We'll use the first letters of the alphabet. Let's run the sample. Everything looks as it should. The x-axis now has custom labels. Let's do one more thing. Rotate the labels. This is useful if the label text is long and they will overlap. As you can see, the labels are rotated now at an angle of 45 degrees. Finally, let's create an axis in code to show you how simple that is. We create a new axis object and set its min value and max value properties. Let's say it's going to be a new y-axis. 
Here it is. That's all for today. Check the video description for links to download the sample and the charting control. Thank you for watching.